Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, today what I'm going to be showing you guys is pretty much an update to my last video that I posted on pretty much how to bypass the revocation of apps by Apple. Now, as you know, there are all kinds of different third-party app stores that you can download for your non-jailbroken device. Now, I know that this, this device is jailbroken, but I do still use a lot of third-party app stores such as Tutu App, um, and pretty much just any online things such as Cyrus or Tweakbox or anything. And you download a lot of these tweaked apps, plus plus apps, paid apps for free, all kind of stuff. But the only problem is, is that Apple will sometimes revoke the certificates to these applications. And since Apple has recently been cracking down on this a lot, it's really been getting annoying for Apple users that want to use these plus plus apps. Well, now there's finally a solution to this for free on how to bypass this pretty this weird revoke you know, apps being revoked. And it's actually very simple. Um, all you have to do is go to your Safari browser and visit this website. It's antirevoke.us. So A-N-T-I revoke.us. Now, before there were tons of problems with this, and there kind of still are. You have to take a few extra steps than they used to have to to pretty much use this anti-revoke. Now, as you can see, right here it says anti-revoke info disabled. If it does send you to an ad, just go ahead and go back. Now, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click install profile. And you're gonna wait for pretty much the profile to load up. This is very simple, it shouldn't take very long. Just go ahead and hit install, type in your passcode, and once you're done with that, you can just you know go ahead and wait and it will install the profile. So what you're all you're gonna to want to do after you've installed the profile is go back to settings and scroll down to Safari once you're in the main page. Scroll to Safari and you're gonna click scroll down and click clear what history and website data now what this does is just make sure that everything's clear the catch is clear and you're good to go the next thing you want to do is go up to the place where it says VPN and make sure that anti-revoke is is uh, checked and all you're gonna to do is just make sure that connect on demand is working now the next thing you want to do this is actually kind of important you're gonna to need to go to the app store because as you can see if we go back to the same website we were just at antirevoke.us let's go ahead and do it it should still say disabled, which has been the problem, is that people install the profile, follow all the correct steps, and it still says uh, disabled. And even if it says enabled, it's only on Wi-Fi, not cellular. Anyway, there is an easy fix for this. All you're going to want to do is go to the App Store, and you're going to want to search up something called VPN Robot. So once, you get, once your App Store loads up, just go ahead and wait a few seconds and type in VPN Robot, just like this. Now, once it, this loads, you're going to want to download this application. It looks just like this. As you can see, I've already installed it. It's a free app, so that's good. And it also is an unlimited VPN. It's pretty fast as well. So, you know, you download this application, and then once it's downloaded, you're going to want to make sure that all other VPNs are removed. So you need to make sure that the VPN robot is the only thing that is left on your device. So as you can see, all I have is the anti-revoke VPN, which you need to have in VPN robot. So once you're done with that, after the app is installed, follow all the easy processes to get the VPN set up on your device. And we're going to go ahead and launch VPN robot and connect to it. So all we're going to want to do here is just hit tap to connect. And as you can see, it will start connecting. It's actually very fast. Uh, you might not see the VPN thing come up in the top right corner quite yet. It sometimes takes a little while. There it is. And we're going to go ahead, and now we're going to go back to the same website, antirevoke.us, and see if it has enabled it. It should. Antirevoke.us. And if we just go ahead and wait, as you can see, anti-revoke has been enabled. So pretty much what this VPN does is it just fixes all the problems that there was with anti-revoke. It's very simple and easy to use. And all you're going to want to do is just make sure that VPN stays on all the time. Um, and if you do that, well, first of all, your security is protected. And second of all, you can use anti-revoke, which enables you to pretty much use any app downloaded from any site forever. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and stay updated for more jailbreak and hacking content. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.